Hi, and welcome. Uh, so in this video, we're going to be working on factoring trinomials when a is not equal to 1. Okay, so if you remember, when a was equal to 1, we had those two numbers, m and n. And m times n is supposed to be equal to c, and m plus n is supposed to be equal to b. That's when a was equal to 1. But now our a is a 2. So one of these two rules no longer directly applies. And that rule is that second rule, that addition rule. Okay, so this no longer applies. Okay. The rule that still applies, though, is the m times the n is equal to c. So that's the first thing I'm going to identify. Okay. So again, the ax squared plus b times x plus c. Well, c right now is equal to negative 10. We've got to find two numbers that are going to multiply up to give me a negative 10. Well, there's always 1 and negative 10, or a negative 1 and positive 10. There's also negative 2 and a positive 5, and positive 2 and a negative 5. Okay. So these are all the numbers that are going to give me a negative 10. The other thing, the thing that makes this different, is again this big 2 in front of our x squared. Okay, so what we need to identify is what times what. You know, what two terms are going to multiply to give me 2x squared? Used, it used to be, when we had just x squared, it was x times x. But this time, it's going to be a 2x and an x. Okay, so we're going to have a 2x quantity and an x quantity. Okay. What we can do to try to find this middle term here is take 2 times one of our variables and add it on with 1 times the other variable. So if we did 2 times a positive 1, so that would place the 1 over here, um, it would be 2 times 1, positive 2, plus x times a negative 10, or minus 10x. So 2x minus 10x, um, that actually works. Okay. So 2x minus 10x is actually equal to negative 8 times x. So 2x plus 1, so we're going to place the plus 1 over here, and we have 2x minus 10 on our other side. Just to make sure, we're going to take 2x times x, which gives us 2x squared, 2x times a positive 1 plus 2 times x, We've got negative 10 times x, so minus 10x, and a negative 10 times a positive 1, which is minus 10. So 2x squared plus 2x minus 10x is minus 8 times x, and minus 10. You'll see that this is the same as up here, and so you have it completed.